Hello and welcome back to the channel again guys. In this video it's going to be specifically about this BMW and the ABS and the DPS and also I'm going to just go through the King Bowling K7 as well because I've been using it for well over a year now. It's been my more or less daily tool. I'll be honest it's bulletproof I'll be honest that's how good this is. I'm not here to exaggerate, but I am going to go through it and I promise you it's going to be worth every penny and I'll put the link in below so you guys can find the one that I've got as well online. So back to our topic, we'll plug it in and I shall walk through everything and I'll go through the menus and what you can do on your car. First, it's OBD, uh, it's Bluetooth, which is what I recommend. Don't go cheap, pay a few quid extra and Secondly, get this. We'll have the ignition on. And there we are. We're going to go back to our lovely machine this is the king bowling k7 as you can see there from the title here um and uh, we're going to go through some of the functions i've been using it for over a year like i said and it's got everything that you can ask for it's not expensive it really is a machine that ticks all the boxes uh, dpf reset uh, steering angle calibration add blue reset there you go it's got everything so back here scan and it's an auto search so you don't have to select the vehicle it will auto pick the vehicle up itself with the VIN chassis which is good for traders who buy and sells cars and for anyone who wants to know what's under that VIN chassis there and whether it matches with this one and make sure the ignition is on otherwise it won't work and also this is the 2 litre diesel BMW X3 2011 or 12 if I'm not mistaken it's got the ABS warning on. I've coded everything in, everything sorted, DPS sorted, but I'm just going to rerun through everything again so you guys know what's what. So we'll hit auto search. Um, obviously, ABS pump is common on the E models. They are common for it to go. So we shall show you how to reset that or code it back in. And almost also show you how to code in the um, steering angle sensor. It tells us the exact mileage of this car, the model, X series. Auto, blah blah blah, and the main chassis, which is exactly what we need, especially in our game. One beautiful thing I like about this machine is it really does go through the whole day without me having to charge it up. I can do DPF region more or less all day, no issues. So that's a good benefit. And out of it. what's more important is that this is free lifetime update, guys. And you've got the camera for QR codes. And if you want to keep customers up to date with taking pictures and sending it off, so we've just done a full scan. Um, I get it the car's had a low voltage but previously I'll see if I can get it back up from the previous videos there was a lot of warning previously, on here. I shall show you there was all these warning tracks and light brake system um, airbag yeah that was on it is what it is we can always get round to that um, but driving stabilization flat tyre warning um, collision warning I'm not bothered about brake abs system and you've got all these faults here as well so this is what we're going to do that's if you've changed the abs pump and i'll show you the diagnostic after doing a, another full scan uh, these are what's come back positive i shall show you how to eliminate these guys you've got many more but that's what you've we got need all these now. functions here guys these are the commonly used functions we're going to go into special functions we're going to go into chassis Drive is to do with the engine section, body is to do with the, you know, body control modules and the internal stuff. Drive assistant is the radar, maintenance, the oil service. And what we need is the chassis. And here you've got all these here. And look at what we can do. Brake bleeding routine, start up, brake line, right height sensor. This car doesn't have that if it was an X5 most likely. Um, you've got quite a lot and the one that going we to EPS steering startup remember guys your machine may look different or say something different and on here it says it's just kind of guiding us as to what's what but this is if you've changed the ABS pump so we'll hit continue okay so here this is what it says so it tells us everything's good and it's in line I get it because it's been done so in your case no it needs to be done again so we'll hit F2 um, and here it is we shall hit continue let's just, just line this up brake must not be operated so your brake pedal let go continue and okay continue so here we are we've got the steering warning which I understand 
okay and then it says now switch terminal switch off wait for 10 seconds so we shall turn everything off steering drive moderately we shall wait 10 seconds and then switch it back on so i think it's been 10 seconds here we go okay continue the transform was deleted again for the jump power okay now switch off ignition again so it's going to tell us and wait 10 seconds and it's kind of recording it back in that's all we're going to do so continue which is fine i get it it's completed okay so it's done in other words so we'll hit continue slowly turn the steering wheel to the left now i would certainly do that uh, okay so it says slowly turn the steering wheel to the left which i get i've done many times hold the steering wheel at that point yep so all the way to the left hold it lock it in and then go to the right full lock hold it and then go back to neutral so we shall hit continue so now now previously i was on the other page and this was like heavy as hell it was very hard to turn but as you can see the car's not turned on and i'm literally using two fingers hold it there and slowly go back to the right slowly don't go too quick because it's gonna misplace itself and then when you get to the full right here we are again just lock it in hold in this position turn it as tight as you can and then go back to neutral like this and just make sure you're in center in other words there you go because this steering angle sensor has a sensor and then we'll hit continue so important next step uh front wheels must be aligned okay so we shall not touch the steering as you can see it's done a slight ever movement without me doing anything guys and now the light has gone and the abs pump is happily coded in so it says switch off ignition so we'll switch off the ignition it really is so easy guys i mean honestly you can i'm not gonna say you're gonna have to be blind but you know you can it doesn't require anyone like with knowledge to do it it's just listen to this it's so dead straightforward turn the ignition on and hit continue so successfully put into an operation so now you saw all them lights earlier so before i do anything let's let's just um wait for it successfully reset and stored thank you very much that's how easy it is that steering pump guys done as well as the steering angle sensor it's the same way there's nothing crazy about it and we shall turn the ignition on continue Ta -da, in other words all done so has ended continue there we are so let's turn the car on let's see if we get any warning this time nothing as you guys can see nothing nothing and if we go on to menu vehicle information vehicle status check control bingo nothing and for all of you guys as well so we'll try again so you can all be sure there you are and remember if you're going to change steering angle sensor it's the same process literally there's nothing different about it again start up there's many other things like we said we can do and the other thing is the dpf guys. Uh, and i shall show you the dpf like i said has been done has been eliminated um so we've got when the last update was and we're going to read freeze read data stream actually so top one we'll hit suit Diesel particulate filter suit. So it's reading this because everything's been sorted. The way you would sort it, guys, is coming back out of this. We had DPF uh, pressure, you know, the DPF pressure sensor kind of full because um, it's done a lot of local runs. Special functions, like we said, drive. And then within this, let's see if it does. If not, it will go into the service function. There's reset adaptions register so this is what we've done diesel particle filter register replacement and we shall hit continue obviously the dpf has been clean i've got many videos on how you can clean this and long story short 
once you've done, use a diagnostic machine like this to reset it. Honestly, it's a great piece of kit, guys. I'm not saying this over exaggerating, but honestly, I've enjoyed it to the max. Um, and then if we come down, this is reset start lock, which we don't need. Um, reset adaptions. So mouth sensor, we've obviously changed in, in the past for many different vehicles. This has various different exhaust emission fuel, air mass, which is air mass. So we shall do this. And it tells you here which one. And we've got mass airflow sensor. Continue. It really is that straightforward, guys. I'll leave it with you guys. By all means, drop um, a comment below. And if there is any questions, we will get back to you as soon as we can. Um, but it really is a great piece of machine. It's ticked off. Whether you're a starter or whether you're a pro, I'll be honest, this does like best of both worlds in that sense. It ticks all boxes. And that's done. Simple as that. And if we turn the car on, there's no more engine management light. There's no DPF warning. There's no like limp mode. It's as simple as it gets.